I come here and this is what I find. Nothing, no one. My contractor is not here. I want to give you some context first before I uh, share with you what I want to share with you. So this asset, I'm here looking at one of my properties, this asset I bought in December. This morning I got a call, I received a call from my contractor, the way my handy guy and the way we usually do things is he, he goes to Staples, he buys the materials and then I, uh, I pay them for the materials over the phone and he comes and he does whatever work I need him to do. There's a saying in Spanish that says, el que tiene tienda la tiende o si no la pierde. That means if you have a store, you watch it, you watch over it. If not, you lose it. So I, I paid for the order this morning, the paint and all the stuff that he needed that I wanted him to do with this asset to start making it look nice outside. Um, and I'll share with you what I did here. I'll share with you the strategy, um, how I'm stabilizing it. So I paid for that this morning and I said, you know what? One of my students is having their first closing in this area. And I decided to come here early so that I can um, look at my store, right? Check out my asset. So let me show you around. Let me show you what I found. And here's, what, here's the asset, right? So I purchased this property back in December. Here's a rundown on it. You see there, there was some wind damage up there. We're getting that fixed. We're getting this power washed. I'm getting that whole thing painted. Um, this place is 100% occupied. It's mixed use. There's commercial uh, laundry mat there. However, I come here and this is what I find. Nothing, no one. My contractor is not here. And um, <laughs> in addition to that, some time ago, I had, uh, I, had, I had paid him to come and do something which he claimed he did i believe he did you know one of my mentors used to tell me you gotta inspect what you expect so you gotta inspect things all right so this stuff is getting painted this fence is getting painted all this stuff that's getting power washed this whole building is getting power washed fixed that's getting painted that's getting all tightened up right so i come here and i'm like you know what let me check at uh, this thing he was supposed to do. So if you look up there, I, there, I, had, I had told him to put a piece of wood there and tighten that up real nice. And I come here today. I haven't been here in maybe eight weeks or so. Look at this. Look at this. Squirrels were getting up there. Basically, a crappy job was done. And uh, he was supposed to be here. He is not here. I just called him. And he's supposedly on his way. Point of this, the whole point here and the whole lesson is here, guys you have to inspect what you expect so you know in, in real estate investing we have a we have a we have a motto right and the motto is contractors unfortunately are just they're good until they're not you got to watch them you got to pay attention you got to pay attention to your business so we're going to be power washing all of this stuff so he's going to be power washing this stuff we're cleaning that up we're painting this floor we're painting the doors we're putting new numbers on these doors so now let me tell you what I did here. Let me tell you the business plan here. So why I bought this building? When I bought this building, this is a mixed use commercial building, right? It's a small commercial. But when I bought this building, the previous owner was paying for all the heat. There was one boiler. This whole entire building was paying for all the heat. As an investor, the last thing I want to do when I, and by the way, everyone here except for one tenant is under market rent. So they're paying less than they should be. The last thing we want to do when you buy a building is to raise everyone's rent. You don't want to rock the boat. But I bought this asset because it has a lot of potential. And I knew that if I stopped paying the heat, I would increase my profit and loss statement, right? I would increase my bottom line. In May, I changed everyone to electric baseboard. I kept everyone's rent the same, but everyone went from me paying the rent, everyone pays their own electric heat this winter. But what did I do? What I did was I increased my bottom line because that's $4,500 a year less that I don't have to spend, right? So I put $4,500 extra in my pocket without increasing anyone's rent. But I didn't increase anyone's rent, but I increased their expenses. What they don't know yet is that when the winter comes, when this winter comes, well, they know it, but people don't really know it until they feel the pain, right? That they gotta come out of their pocket, they gotta pay for their own heat. So what, what they don't realize is that they're gonna have this extra expense of $200, right? But it's to heat up their own apartment. I'm not paying for it. However, I have to psychologically justify this for them. So the strategy is if I come here and I clean this place up and I make it real pretty and I make it real nice for them th and I keep their rents and I don't increase their rents for another year, they're gonna feel proud about where they live 
they're gonna feel like they got a deal. They're still paying on the market rents. And then in about 18 months or so, I come with the increases. Anyways, that's my business plan for here. Just wanted to share that with you. That's the asset right there. It's a small commercial property, small mixed use commercial, we call that in real estate. Again, remember the saying I shared with you a moment ago, saying my grandma shared with me, el que tiene tienda la tiende, o si no la pierde. If you have a store, you take care of it. If not, you lose it. Hence why I come to my properties every once in a while and uh, check up on things, even though I have property manager, even though I have a team and everything. It is my business. It is still my responsibility to keep an eye on things and make sure that things are running smooth and that things are up to my expectations. All right, guys, appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, drop a little like, drop a little comment. Let me know what you think. Appreciate you guys.